What's up, what's up everybody? The new Second Awakened Monsters are officially released. No more teasers, no more crazy ink blot pictures, none of that. They're actually released. And the kicker is... The kicker, they're not farmable. <laughs> Let me say that again. They're not farmable units. They're units that you have to actually summon. But we'll get into that. I think there's a, something that they're doing to make up for it, to make them more easily accessible. We'll talk about it in a second, but they actually put this developer's note out. So, new dimensional hole update, Lumel. It is a 15-star battle. Like, R like how RTA has the 20-star rule where you can only use a certain amount of monsters that add up to 20 stars. This is going to be 15 stars. So, your whole team has to be max 15 stars. So, you can bring in some 5 stars and then like 2 stars, right? Or you can bring in some 3s and 4s, whatever, that, as long as their team... And remember, you have to have one of the three stars in there already. So you have three more slots to have 12 points. 12, 12 stars worth of units. Uh, you can, of course, have them awakened and at six star level, but the natural star level is what's going to count, just in case you're not familiar with the RTA Special League. Because that's been a while since we've seen that Special League. Remember, Comptress? Remember how you used to do that? And that was more fun than the pre ban But you keep doing the pre ban Anyway, that's besides the point. New Second Awakened, New Dimension, very excited about this, very excited. I would rather see this than so many other things, than more RTA, right? Love this, great content, let's talk about it. Okay, so blah blah blah, Summoner's War RTA, whatever. Uh, <laughs> we just skip over that. New Dimension, Lumo. So, this looks really cool already, I love the art. The Comptrust art team, beautiful, perfect, you're doing everything right, you're my favorites. Wonderful. Always wonderful. I don't really ever have that much bad stuff to say about the Comptos R team. <laughs> Hard carrying the whole company, but that's besides the point. Um, looks very, very nice. I kind of get, from this picture, I kind of get a Nightmare Before Christmas. I was going to say Nightmare in Elm Street. That's not it. Nightmare Before Christmas kind of vibe, but I don't know why. Maybe just because there's a moon in it? It's entirely possible. There's a hill and there's a moon. Which, of course, makes Bagel think Nightmare Before Christmas. Anyway, here's the dimensional, uh, Dimension Lumel details. Oh, uh, Dimension Dungeon and Second Awakening Dungeon, just like the others. So there's gonna have one where you farm for the runes, and there's gonna be one where you farm for the Second Awakened. Um, by the way, they're Marshall, Cat, and Werewolf. Uh, just so we... <laughs> just, just so you got that. I forgot I didn't even say what monsters they were. Marshall, Cat, Werewolf. Um, but you can see them right here, uh, as well. It says in text. Anyway, um, new second wing monsters, more details provided later, default 15 star battle, and it basically says what, uh, basically says what it is. So, these are not available, these are not farmable units. These are, oh, 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 did I? Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll get to that later. These are not farmable units. I think what they may be doing, now we talked about, like, if they weren't gonna do farmable units, like, they, oh, they can't be this unit, can't be that unit, because there's no, excuse me, it's not easily accessible. Like when people are saying, oh, it could be the Harpies, it could be this, it could be that. Like, well, not everyone has Kabila, so they can't... What, do you, what are they going to do? Open it. And they were talking about, like, maybe opening a secret dungeon for new units. They could put Werewolf Secret Dungeon, Werewolf and Martial Cat Secret Dungeons in the game for the Light Darks, right? Because the other ones are accessible pretty easily. But they could put Werewolf and Martial Cat Secret Dungeons in. But... What may also be a very likely scenario is they may have Werewolf and Martial Cat Light Dark pieces in one of these areas. In either Guild Shop, or the Ancient Coins, or... I mean, maybe they could do it even in the Arena Shop. Or even if they're smart, if Countess is smart, they'll put it in an RTA Shop. Which forces more people to do RTA. And gives an actual reward that a lot of early to mid game players would be interested in actually queuing up for those rewards because they want to get the light and dark martial cats, they want to get the light and dark werewolves. I love the light and dark werewolves. I mean, light and dark werewolves, the, just the werewolves in general. Love them, love them, love them. Uh, love the whole premise behind them and you are probably gonna see, I mean, we may see a werewolf uh, guild siege meta. They're tanky bruisers, some of them are very fast, some speed leads, guild war leads, and with the extra base stats, that could definitely make them viable. We may start seeing a lot of werewolves, depending on what the different second awakening, because there's only a couple second awakening bonuses here. 
um, that is, is shown. But we may actually see werewolves being used. Tanky, fast, tanky bruisers with different different beneficial like a sheer he does, does so much already you could use a sheer in guild siege already but this just gives him more hp it gives him better skills and it gives him um better defense which really the thing was i mean not even just guild siege though a sheer is a solid unit so a sheer we're going to talk about a sheer let's just see let's just, let's see the actual things they look very nice by the way they look awesome um don't they look so cool yes i agree with you for once Comptos, i agree with you um Water Marshal Cat, I never get excited about this girl, but the first skill's almost the same, it's just 30% stun chance is now 50% stun chance. The second one, I believe it's exactly the same, launches two consecutive attacks, inflict damage, decrease enemy's attack age. Um, this is, oh, this one absorbs, sorry, the new one absorbs the enemy's attack age, not just decrease. So, it decreases it when she gets it on her, so she gets another turn sooner. Um, I believe her base speed is also very fast. Some of these martial cats have really fast base speed. Some of these uh, werewolves have fast base speeds. And keep that in mind, the fast base speeds and the overall stats, like, that makes a big... Like, that could play a big part in things like RTA, where you see, like, how you've seen the... Um, well, the, the fire in Ugami, right? You've seen sometimes the wind in Ugami, and you also see the water uh, fairy a lot. So, it's entirely possible that you see some of these in the RTA meta now, which, I mean, kind of is a meta shift, right? If you think about it, kind of is a meta shift. Uh, the Ashir, I definitely, I feel like Ashir is... Ashir, Ashir, we'll get to that. Uh, so, the water one, I didn't even finish. Increase the crit, uh, chance of, res uh, increase the chance of attacking with a critical hit by 50% was the old one, if the enemy has no harmful effects. Uh, now it's critical rate... 100% if the enemy has no harmful effects, attacks the target one more time, and this is a passive. One more time with energy punch when you attack with a critical hit on your turn. And it's at 100% if the enemy has no harmful effects. But I mean, you do, you still want like the enemy to have like a defense break, and also she stuns her, like she stuns. So if she attacks and it stuns, then it's got a harmful effect, it's got the stun. But uh, it really doesn't help when the enemy has a defense break on, it's like, okay, well, doesn't not 100% crit chance then um, So yeah, but you still get an extra hit when you attack with a critical hit on your turn So she's basically gives herself like like how Hua gets an extra hit Kind of similar to Hua. Actually, she is very similar to Hua. She's a Hua that has a stun Right because she's got the attack age decrease and she's got the extra chance to have a second uh, Second hit anyway moving on the werewolf. We only have it only shows the two of these right? And by the way, the base speeds on these, if you could see at the bottom, the base speeds are crazy high. These units have always been high base speeds. Uh, very, very good base speeds. Um, so, Merciless Claws, it's... I think it's just the same thing. Attack the enemy with Claws, the strips energy for your recovery. Yeah, so it's the same thing. Uh, second one is a little difference, little tweak, but it's a big one. Uh, recovers HP of all eyes by 15%, increase their attack speed for two turns. Now... It recovers HP and attack bar of all allies. 115 base speed, and he boosts your attack bar and speed. 115 base speed, and he boosts your attack bar. I guarantee this guy's gonna be an RTA. I guarantee him he's gonna be an RTA. Because you have, not only that, but you have the third skill to Valley attacks the enemy four times, inflict damage proportion to my max HP, which he had before. Removes beneficial effects. Uh, damage inflicted by the remaining attacks will be increased by 20%, and the cooldown time will reset if the enemy dies. So it's just damage increase for the massacre, but the, the base stats being higher, like when we're talking about the base HP, the base attack, the base defense, those being higher. Ashir was hard to use. He was he was always like his skill set is really good, but the base defense held him back from being an RTA. Because you don't really even need a defense break too much. When the base H when the base defense is like four hundred and something, four eighty three, it's hard to use him in uh in things because like, oh he's too squishy, right? And like with 115 base speed, 582 defense, it's enough to be usable. 582 is enough to be usable. Um, 571 attack, his damage is based on his HP anyway. And unfortunately, like, there's other things that their damage is based on HP that you don't really see them too much in RTA, like the Beast Monks, because as the match progresses, the HP gets lower anyway. But just the fact that he does so much, he's got so much utility. He strips, 
he uh, he strips, he turn cycles your team, and he heals, and he heal blocks on the enemy, and he nukes. That's a lot. That's like, that's enough. That's enough for him to be actually be usable. He's actually, you're, yeah. I would be very surprised, I would be shocked if people are not using him uh, after this second awakening. And here's the thing, like, the other units after this could be even, like, we, that's, the Ashir is the one that's getting a little tweak, because he's already really good. So they're not showing what the crazy, uh, like, the wind one is basically crap right now, right? The wind one, no one uses the wind one. The fire one, knows it, no one uses the fire one. Water one is actually pretty decent, we'll get to that. Um, we'll take a look at the different skills of these monsters as well. Um, the other ones that they're going to add. But, the water one's already, but, but, like, the fire one could be really good. He's gonna, he's gonna get a big buff. I don't know what it's gonna be, but I, I could see him getting a, that's just speculation, right? That's just speculation. But I could see the fire one, the wind one, getting a, a much more noticeable buff than the, uh, the other ones. So, um, then we have this, you can see the attributes. We have this, uh, Dimension Lumel, the new Ancient Guardian. Uh, he has fire attribute, and he's gonna be doing fiery things. Uh, here are some of the stats, uh, not some of the stats, some of the skills for him. Um, and then we see phase two. We also see some of the different, uh, the different things here on skill, uh, on phase two and phase three. But, we don't see, we don't see too much of the extra skill effects. They like to keep some stuff hidden until the end. So, um, and also the bat, uh, so, there's going to be, of course, the second awakening part, and then there's going to be the rune farming part. The rune farming part has, uh, vampire, energy, guard, will, and destroy. So it's another one that has will, and it's got vampire as well, which could make it more valuable than the other one. Excuse me. Because we do have, uh, I mean, there, there's still no violent, there's still no swift, because that would be OP. That would be just so OP. At least we have, the will is pretty OP, though. The will is kind of the thing that you want from here, but um, vampire's not bad either. Ragdoll's just going to get stronger because better vampire runes. Isn't that exciting, guys? Oh my god, Ragdoll's going to get stronger. But uh, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of interesting. The first the first phase of that uh, fire werewolf and light bear man. So the fire werewolf does extra heals. Um, wait, is he the one that does the extra heals? Yeah, he's the one that that heals extra. Every time he's healed, he's healed for like twice the amount, I believe. And then the Amon with him, kind of funny. But we'll see uh, more how that comes into play uh, after that. But I'm very excited about the werewolves. Martial cats, like, they definitely look cooler. For sure. Oh my god, the girls are going to love that. But, um, yeah, let's take a look at uh, the other werewolves. Well, let's take a look at the other martial cats, too. I'm not that excited about the martial cats just in general. I don't know, I just don't like martial cats that much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's take a look at uh, May. She's got... She's... Whatever. I mean, all this stuff is going to change anyway. The base speeds will be the same. Probably. I would assume the base speeds are probably going to be the same. But everything else is going to change. I don't know. Not not too much. I don't know. I don't know what to expect with these martial cats. But... This one's a guild... Uh, keep an eye on this one. 119 speed. Guild War leader skill of speed. Um, and then she's got the same as the water one that we talked about, decrease the enemy's attack gauge. And then this uh, extra crit chance and extra damage for every harmful effect that's on the targeted enemy. We actually did a video on this. That's kind of funny because we did a video on this like less than a week, like a couple days ago. We did a video on Naomi. Um, like as far as like maybe nuke potential damage. She didn't do as much as we wanted her to. And people were like, oh, but that's because Crow's second awaken and this and that. Now Naomi's getting a second awakening. That's... I promise that was not planned. That was very coincidental. But uh, we'll see how she improves after she's after she's finished. But just the fact that she's got a Guild War speed lead and 119 base speed, you could see her being a potentially, depending on what the buff is, potentially viable um, siege unit. This one as well, she's kind of interesting. People are already building her. Uh, stun chance here. Not really like high level, but people like mid early mid game have... I would say mid game. I would say mid game people that like like to test the test out things, try fun things. Uh, they've had some fun with Xiao Lin. Uh, Xiao Ling. Xiao Lin is a different monster, but I I think I might have one. I never use her, but uh, if I do have one, I don't know. She's got this. She's like a kind of bruiser thing, uh, and then we have the dark one. I actually have this one built. I have this one built. Um, she's again like 
kind of like a bruiser style thing. They have decreased attack age and they have stuns, so. It might be. I mean, I, I'm excited to see what all of these... Uh, the Second Awakenings are like the, one of my favorite things. I'm very excited about the Second Awakenings, just in general. But maybe more so the werewolves. I don't know. The werewolves are... Uh, they're my boys. So let's talk about the uh, Garrosh. 115 base speed. Very good base speed. Guild War leader skill of nothing. <laughs> Accuracy. 26%. That's a nothing leader skill. I'll be honest. That's a nothing leader skill. Uh, this is a stun. I started to almost six star this guy back in the day, and then I was like, oh, he doesn't have a defense break. Never mind. Because uh, I thought he had still a defense break and a stun. And I was like, hey, Fire Tanky Bruiser has got a defense break and a stun, but he doesn't. He's got this recovers HP by 10% every turn. Like a Camila. Like, kind of like, think about kind of like Camila, Chow kind of things. But he's a fire unit. Um, and then the recovery effects that you receive increase by 100% as well. He's probably going to get a noticeable buff. I can only imagine. I can only imagine, like, if she, if he gets a damage mitigation buff or something. I've got my eye on this guy. I've got my eye on him. I want to see some crazy stuff with him. We'll see. This one is actually similar to Ashir. This is already a usable unit. I already have him built on... Free to win, and I have him built on my main. He's actually got runes on my main. I'll even show you the runes on, on my main for him. Um, but he's got the same second skill as a shear, so I would assume, unless they change it, they could have one do one thing, one do another thing. But he's got 115 base speed, and if he gets the same treatment as a shear, he's going to have an attack age boost too, with 115 base speed. And then he's got this uh, triple hit. Defense break. I don't think he's gonna get buffed that much with the second awakening I don't think he's gonna get changed too much because he's already pretty good He's already like a sure didn't get changed that much. He just got a little attack age boost, which is still a thing. He's still Still really nice. Um, I think he might actually I think he might actually be in one of my guild siege bases I'm not I don't have super hardcore crazy guild siege bases, but I think he's in one of them. It's him some wind unit and a fire dice magician. And it's not even that big. They're all very tanky. They're all like super tanky and fast. Um, it, but it's kind of funny that it works, but I have some pretty decent runes on him though. Um, or at least I used to. I don't know. Anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, Jolt, uh, this guy, not very exciting right now, so he's potentially going to be really good later. Or he's uh, potentially not, not going to be really good. He's potentially going to be buffed more than the others. Because uh, he's got the same second skill. Like, this is just the stun. Um, not anything too crazy. Stun on the second skill. We see the martial cats have a stun on the first skill. Uh, HP status higher than, higher than enemies. The attacks will deal additional damage proportion to your max HP. He's also has... Oh, he has a resistance leader skill. I don't know why I thought that was HP. Um, yeah, like, but, but he's got 115 base speed. Keep an eye on this guy. Keep an eye on this guy. Some of these may be potentially getting some really nice tweaks. And I just fast tanky bruisers for Guild Siege. We see, I mean, we see the uh, the Fire Anubis, fast tanky bruiser for Guild Siege. We see the Harp Magicians. We see uh, Skogel is more like just a bruiser bruiser. But these things, even to counter Skogel, some of these things may be just built to counter the current meta of what guild stuff we have going on right now. So these. Even if they're not used for defense, these could be viable offense units because with crazy, crazy, crazy based HP, they can take hits from the Skogel teams, the Skogel defenses. So, uh, these could definitely be... I mean, I'm just seeing these as, as very viable units. I'm not saying all of them are going to be usable for RTA. Ashir going to be nice, but the other ones definitely, like, could be usable in... Uh, Already usable. This guy's already usable in uh, in Siege, honestly. Um, and then Joltani's got a speed leader skill, right? And then he's got this damage reflection here based on his HP, which is going to... And he also passively defense breaks, right? A on every hit. Really good on revenge. Um, he's been a good monster, though. I'm really surprised. He's got 115 base speed, too, and he's got a speed leader. Potentially pretty crazy. Potentially pretty crazy. This guy, oh my god. And he's got, and here's the thing, he's gonna have higher base HP with this second awakening. So, his reflect damage is gonna be even higher. And he's gonna be, he's gonna have higher defense, so he's gonna, and higher HP, so he's gonna last longer in battles. 
and do more reflect damage. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a it's gonna be a werewolf meta. I'm so happy. I love the werewolves. Werewolf meta. I'm 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 so hyped. I'm on this train. I'm on this train. I'm I really am. I love the werewolves. Such high base 115. All of them have 115 base speed. You know what? I actually did not know that all of them had. I knew some of some of them did, but I didn't know all of them did. I'm very excited about that. I'm very excited about that. Can we show my uh my werewolf runes? I don't know what everyone. Here's here's how excited I am about these werewolves. I have three Joltans built. Three Joltans. I actually kind of want to build more. I want to build more. How is the uh, water werewolf built? I wonder how the light werewolf is built. Uh, okay, so he's just speed HP HP. I I had him on better runes, but um, still use him every so often. Whenever I remember that he exists, I'm like, oh yeah, this would be a great thing. Because he's an HP based unit for uh, multi hits and strips. Where's the water one? Is the water one out? Where's the water one? Oh, the water one's not even in storage! He's not even in storage. Let's take a look at his runes. Okay, so he is speed crit damage HP, and he's on violent destroy. I think I want to, I think I was messing with his runes as well. That's why. Because he's actually not that tanky. He needs to be tankier if we take him into certain things, but, uh, like Skogles. He needs to be much tankier than that. Time for more premium runes on, uh, Vigor, right? Anyway, that's it for this one. Oh, we should talk about, uh, there's also this event going on. Black Friday event. Some of these are good, some of these are not so good. Over here. You get a free scroll! This is like the time! Everyone, buy premium packs! Please, don't. It's just one extra mystical scroll. It's not give guaranteeing you net fives. Don't get excited about this. Don't get excited. They do this every so often, and then people wail on premium packs and get nothing and yell at me. I'm like, I didn't, I didn't tell you to do that. Um, some of these are dumb. The 50 uh, crystals. Actually, this might be valuable if you're just trying to buy mana. That m some of these might be valuable. The Devilmon is really nice, right? For 500 crystals, you get a few scrolls and you get a Devilmon. So five scrolls is worth 350 crystals, so the Devilmon would be worth- That's- that's a good value pack. The 500 is a good value pack. The 100 on the bottom is a good value pack, too. The unknown scrolls is just funny to see unknown scrolls in there. But, uh, that- the 200 crystals is a million mana. If we go here, we go to... this? We can see how much mana, how much a million mana. That's a good, va that's a good value for a million mana, because this is 500 crystals for 875,000 mana just by itself. I'm not saying go buy mana, but I'm saying, like, if you need to, for whatever reason, you should be farming dungeons anyway. If you need to, if you need the mana, you should be farming dungeons. You shouldn't be buying mana anyway. Um, but it's definitely a more reasonable priced, uh, Quick mana boost for you guys. They seem like decently valuable. Some <laughs> the unknown scrolls though. <laughs> Why are you gonna buy unknown scrolls? <laughs> if you guys want to buy unknown scrolls, I have so many unknown scrolls to sell you. Anyway, that's it for this one. I think we basically covered everything, right? Excited about the new Second Awakened werewolves. Very excited. Realizing that my werewolves that I currently have don't have as good of a runes that I thought they did. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. That's it for this one. I will see you as always in... Let me know what you think in the comments below. I, f I, f I really feel like the... Uh, Pagel, you're supposed to end the video. You keep talking. I feel like they're going to add the werewolves pieces either in guild shop, ancient coin shop, or if they're smart, RTA shop. They want more people doing RTA, which could be good. It could be good for everyone that's currently doing RTA because it just boosts. It adds a lot of... Like an insertion of a lot of new players into the bottom. Uh, phrasing um, it <laughs> it does that and it pushes everyone else up so your percentage of wherever you're ranking percentage wise your your points aren't gonna go up but your percentage uh, is gonna go up your percentile that you are in like if you're in the top 3% now you might be in the top 2.5% after a bunch of people do RTA because they want the werewolves right so, anyway, that's just that's just speculation. They may do that. They may do it a different way. Who knows? Or they may just be like, screw you. You only you need to keep summoning LDs. Who knows? Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you as always in the next one.